Hello and welcome to another Houdini quick tip. So in this video I'm going to talk about how you can extract the transformation matrix and especially when you have a like animated geometry and you want to do some some effects and you want to move this this animated object like for example this one it can be a cache from your animation department we can be done in Houdini so and you want to just move to the center do some effects and transform back uh, the, your geometry to the original position so this method i'm going to show you is the simple way to do it there is another method which is more complicated you have to create the the, the axes use a cross product and then do some matrix stuff in wops or you can use vex but uh, this one uh, is very quick very simple and everyone can do it so let me just uh, this uh, talk about the main nodes which is very important one is the match size and another one is the extract transform so i'm going to create the scene from scratch so to show you how it works so let me just create a geometry and create uh, for example this rubber toy and transform maybe up the y-axis just remove from center add some rotation and add another transform to add some rotation and I'm going to use dollar f okay so this is what what we have I'm going to add another rotation here maybe dollar f multiplied by two to add a more extra complicated rotation on top so now this is your animation you want to move to the center origin and just do some effect and just go back to the previous and apply the animation so first we need to move to the center I can use match size this uh, I think they added in Houdini 17 so this one is going to move this geometry here but uh, we still have the rotation so I just want to remove the rotation also I'm going to use a time shift just connect here control shift click on this one to remove the expression now we don't have any animation now I can do my own transformation uh, to to match to any axis I want for example like this one maybe some in X in Y and transform to the center add some rotation maybe okay so now it's easier to do some effect right because uh, it's not moving it has some axes like z axis is aligned with z axis and now I, I can for example subdivide the model to add more resolution and add the mountain just change the element size and also the height and I'm going to use the attribute noise to add some color on top another attribute noise to change uh, let's just keep it like this and this one I'm going to use later let me just delete this one okay and now we, we for example we, we, we did some edit on, on the model added some attribute and stuff so I'm going now I want to go back to the original location and add the animation so how are we going to do that okay we have an another node extract transform as I already talked about uh, the right put right input is your for animated geometry and the left input is uh, before any edit you did so you can connect it to this transform when you where you align your model uh, to the axis you want and if I select this model 
what we have is just uh, one point and this point as you can see it has some orient, orient attribute and some pivot point this pivot, pivot point is the location of this point so if I sorry so it's, uh, it's not animated because it's used the, this orient and this position that one is the center okay so now I can use a copy to point if I copy to point this one we have the animation so for example if I template this geometry and come here you can see the geometry is matching let's do some other effect on top for example if you want to do like particle simulation or some smoke so I'm going to scatter some point here on top and let me just increase the size and also add a attribute noise again to add some CD and maybe connect this one here and another one I'm going to change also the position to add some animation on top let's change the element size and also the amplitude so if I scrub the timeline we can imagine this one is a uh, your particle simulation and now I can merge with this one or I can use another copy to point so I'm going to have these two matched together and let me just for this position use the zero centered so as you can see now we have the particles also on top okay another example if you wanna add some smoke simulation for example I can use now the like pyro simulation it's very fast to set up now so let me just move this one here maybe you want to do some fire from our small dragon so just I want to change some setting here uh, I'm going to use just buoyancy now because I want to do something quick so we get some smoke moving into Z direction okay now you can use another copy to point just copy this one that one and merge also these two together let me just change the background to maybe light you can see the smoke effect here as you can see here we have a perfect match with the original animation we, we had before so this is our original animation let me just move here this original yeah is this the template one and this one with the mountain subdivided we added some attribute like CD a particle and a smoke so it's very easy to control and easy to set up and uh, another example let me just show you that that one is also handy if I move this geometry here the reason we use extract transform here in this previous one is because we freeze the animation here right but imagine you want to just move your geometry to center for example it's like a character right you, you want to keep the deformation and this is like our deformation right what you're going to do here you can do your effect after this one after the match axis you can do any effect you want for example if I add like another transform like rotate this model into Z like dollar F multiplied by 3 maybe so you can see we add another rotation on top now I want to go to the previous location so in this case you don't need to use the extract transform right because this one already has the animation you just want to match the position 
so you just use the, this match size again and connect here it's not going to do anything now but you have to do here in the match uh, size you have to stash the transformation when you do this it's going to create uh, one detail attribute the transformation matrix here so as you can see so when I scrub the timeline you can see these values is changing and we added another transform and we again use the match size but this time we just need to use the restore transform if I do that and template my this transform as you can see we added another rotation on top very easily and you imagine if you want to add this one and this rotation and do some effect based on this rotation or any movement or any deformation you want right and you can if you want to go to match 100% with this one you just wanted to use this transform for some effect right for some obscured reason and which can happen in production you just need to output this attribute if you check this output attribute is going to create another X form and post multiply it and now if I match axis it's going to match again 100% uh, with the original animation you already had from the animation department so as you can see it's going to match even we have the transform here so even if I scale the model here if I transform it's going to keep this position now if I remove this one we have the rotation and also I can some add some offset if I want or I can just scale the model right this is also very very handy so yeah that's uh, that's it just uh, wanted to share this this technique is very handy and very quick to do uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.